Noise floor, what is it? How can you use your information about noise floor to make your project sound better? How are you doing? It's good to see you. Craig Carter here with another audio tip video. Today we're gonna to be talking about noise floor. What is it? And five tips that I have that can help you improve your sound. You might be asking, Craig, what is noise floor? Well, let me explain it to you simply. Basically, when you record dialogue for your own videos or on set, you also are recording a noise floor. And basically, a noise floor is all the environmental things that are going on around you, all the vents, all the lights, all the fans, all the air conditioning units. It's all the electronic noise that comes from your mixers, all the stuff you don't want to hear, all the garbage, basically. And essentially, when you record dialogue, you just want to record it as clean as possible. So I have five tips today to talk about some things that you can do to improve your noise floor and have your dialogue sound just all that much sweeter, all that much cleaner. And tip number one is controlling your environment. Now, sometimes we can't always control our environment. Sometimes we have things we can't control. Let's say we're recording by a freeway or something like that. So those are things we can't control. What we can control are things like fans and AC units and stuff like that. Even right now as we listen, I've got a little fan next to me. I've got a freezer behind me as well. We can turn these things off and that's gonna lower our noise floor. Basically, we just wanna keep the distance between the dialogue that we're recording and the noise floor as far apart from each other as possible. Okay, so listen, when you first get to an environment on set, listen to what things you can turn off to help control that noise floor. That's tip number one. Tip number two is use good, dedicated audio equipment if you can. Now, if you have a dedicated mixer or something like that, usually those are much quieter than if you have to run the audio straight into your camera. That'll introduce some electronic noise kind of at the bottom level again, raising up your noise floor, like I said before. If you don't have access to expensive audio equipment, which a lot of people don't, that's fine too. There's a lot of good cheap options out there that can also work for you. Um, Deity makes some good cheap stuff. Zoom makes some good cheap stuff. Tascam, some good cheap options, but they'll also record things very, very clean. That brings me to my third point. My third point is just get your microphone as close to the source as possible. Um, right now we have a mic right here. So as I'm talking, we're probably not hearing much of the fan and the stuff around me because the mic is so close. Um, if you just get your mic just outside of the frame line, get it as close to your subject as you can, and that's going to reduce the noise around the environment as well. Tip number four is if you don't have total control of your environment, which often happens, maybe you can't turn off an AC unit, maybe something like that, you can do things in post to help bring down that noise floor. Um, I'll show you an example of that here. Okay, um, obviously if stuff did not go well on your recording and you need to bring down the noise floor at that time in post, you can do something like that. Here's an example um, right here. Getting it, um, we're working on getting it to 195. So here we got some good clean audio of them talking, but as you can hear behind them, this is a uh, brewery, brewery, sorry, brewery. So um, there's obviously a lot of machinery going on in the background that we could not turn off. So then it sounds like this. So you know, that's like 36 decibels. Um, so it's a little loud. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll just take our clip. We're just gonna right click here and we're gonna open in edit clip in Adobe Edition. So click on that. It's gonna render and replace. It's gonna open up your clip in Audition. So we have the same clip here, the same audio file. You can hear it. Okay, so that nasty noise is kind of what we want to get rid of. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to find an area where there's no talking, um, where it's just that sound going on if we can. We've got a great spot right here, as you can hear. Okay, and we're just going to drag and hold the mouse and just grab a moment of that, okay? The more you can, the more accurate it will be. The more, the more you can grab, the more accurate it will be. So we're going to grab that there. We're going to go up to effects. We're going to go to noise reduction slash restoration we're going to capture noise print okay so what it's doing is it's saying this is the noise that we want to remove out of this clip so now if we double click we're going to highlight the whole clip so we capture that noise print now what we're telling it to do is we want to apply it to the whole clip so we go to effects we go back to noise reduction restoration and we go noise reduction right there bam obviously there's obviously shortcuts for this too i'm just showing you the long way around so you know where to find this stuff 
Now when we click this, it's going to give us this little box here where we have some options. Um, and this is basically how heavy we want to go with this effect. So we have right now, you, if I put it on zero noise reduction, you can hear what it sounds like. Okay. Now if I move that up, I'm going to move it to about between 70 and 80, I think is the sweet spot. And let's go to where spot where he's speaking. Production which is 120 proof alcohol, so we thought we get there a lot quicker to make So you can hear the difference now? By, by giving up the, uh, that's with it off, really good brandy. that's with it on. <laughs> so we've been going uh, five days uh, nonstop to still. So you can hear a significant difference um, there. So that's that cleaned it up a lot. And it does affect the vocals a little bit depending on what the noise floor we're hearing is. Some frequencies of different things um, affect the no actual dialogue that people are speaking more than others we're going to push apply it's going to apply it to all it's going to take a second it's going to apply that whole thing to everything now you can see in these quiet parts we're way lower we're like at negative 51 decibels okay so we just save that command s i'm going to save it and then if we go back to premiere um it should just update that's that dynamic linking that the adobe products do that's so 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 sweet so now we can hear much cleaner in this area. Look, we're way down to negative 54 decibels on our noise floor. It's great. And listen to him. Also, we thought we'd get there a lot quicker to make sand hat, sand hat sanitizer by, by giving up the... Uh, and the he's really still between negative 6 and negative 12 decibels, so that's great. That is how I would fix it in post. Again, that does not apply or work for everything, but um, this was just one recent situation that I had that it worked great. So that's just one example of something you can do in post to take out some of that noise. The other thing you can do is a lot of microphones, a lot of mixers have what's called a high pass filter. And essentially what a high pass filter is, is it's gonna cut off some of those low end sounds without taking any sounds out of the human voice. So stuff, low rumbling sort of noises like we talked about with some AC units or freezer, things like that that might be on in the background. Um, if you've got a freeway behind you with some low end rumbling, a high pass filter can help with that without affecting the dialogue that's actually coming out of your actors. Tip number five, and this is if everything's gone wrong and you've exhausted all these other options, is you're probably gonna have to ADR your whole scene. Uh, ADR, basically you're bringing your actors in after the fact, you're having them record their lines in a very, very quiet environment um, after you've already shot the rest of the visuals. Now a good tip to keep in mind when you do ADR a scene is that you still wanna record as clean as possible when you're actually on set. That way your actor can listen to it back and they can watch how they set it and that will help them recreate it later and have it be a lot more precise. Anyways, that's just five quick tips that hopefully you can use in your own videos to make them sound better. Um, we're gonna be making some more of these audio tip videos coming up, so if you like this, please give us a comment, let us know what we can do in the future. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little dingy bell button as well, that way you can be the first to see these videos. Thanks for watching. That's gonna reduce the noise around the environment as well. So that's tip number three. Tip number four, if you can't control, sorry, my stomach's going crazy. I, I bet we'll hear it. Tip, really? Come on now. It's like waiting till I talk and then.